Hi, this is a statistics video exploring how we find the median from a frequency distribution table. Okay, so we have a score and a frequency here. This is a frequency distribution table. Now, if we wanted to find the median of this uh, set of scores here, we have to add an extra column called a cumulative frequency column. And what it does is it, it adds up the frequency column as we go. So we'll be uh, creating a total here, and a sort of a running total of the frequency column in this cumulative frequency column, and we'll use it to figure out what the median of this set of scores must have been. Okay, so adding that frequency column up, the first item is a 3, so so far the total is a 3. Then we add the next uh, frequency to it, so the total so far after the two first two scores, or two types of scores, is 10. There are 10 scores so far. Then we add the next frequency to make 12. Then when we add a 6, our running total is 18. Add a 5, we have a running total of 23. And we get a total of 25 in that cumulative frequency column. Now we'll just double check our work here by comparing the total of the frequency column, if we add that uh, second column up, uh, we'll check that this is going to be the same as the final item in our cumulative frequency column because this uh, this cumulative frequency column is supposed to be adding up the frequency column so the total for this here should be matching the total of the frequency column if we added that up so we add this 3 and the 7, the 2 etc we get a total of 25 for that frequency column and we notice that the final item of the cumulative frequency column that was supposed to be adding up the frequencies is also 25. So we've done some pretty good work there. We'll be confident that that's uh, correct, our uh, cumulative frequency column there. And we'll use that cumulative frequency column to figure out the median. Now we have 25 scores here, so let's think about what the median score, if they're all placed in order, what the median score is going to be of 25 scores. Is it the 12th score? Is it the 13th? What's going on here? Well, what we do is, for an odd number of scores like 25, and there's previous videos on median, if you wanted to go back and double check the system of finding out which score is the median, but what we do is divide how many scores we've got by 2, we get an answer of 12. 12.5 and for an odd number of scores I'm here to tell you that we're looking for a single middle score for the median and then we find that by rounding up that 12.5 and it'll be the 13th score that ends up being the median here of this set of scores. So we'll use that cumulative frequency column to figure out which of these original scores must have been the 13th score if we wrote them all out in order. So let's have a look at our thinking here. So our first total, when we added up how many uh, twos we have, and there were three of them, so far we've got three scores. So the first three scores are twos. Uh, I've got three scores so far. And then this next item of 10 in the cumulative frequency column indicates that after we've take, uh, added up all the uh, times that 2s and 3s have occurred, there are 10 scores so far. So we're gradually cre creeping up on figuring out which one must have been the 13th score. So after the third row has been taken into account, after we add up how many 2s, 3s and 4s there must have been, there are 12 so far. That's what's good about having a column that's got sort of like the running total of the, of the scores here. There are 12 scores so far. And the next, if we look at the uh, frequency column, after those 12 scores, the next 6 scores, this number here tells us the next 6 scores are all 5s. Because the total has gone in this column from 12 scores so far up to 18 scores. So you can tell that the 13th score must have fitted in just after the 12th score and there's going to be 6 of those scores and they're each 5. So from that, just having a think about it and using that cumulative frequency column to help us figure it out, that 13th score must have been a 5. So that helps us to figure out that the median of this set of scores um, is, is 5. So we've just thought our way through that cumulative frequency column. We've gone down and thought through uh, the arrangement of scores that we have. Now to make this a little bit clearer, I'll also uh, attack it from another direction as well. We'll still use the cumulative frequency column, but I'll just show you from writing out some of the scores that that uh, 13th score is in fact a 5 because we figured out down here that we're looking for that 13th score because that's the one that we figure is going to be our median. 
So another way of thinking about it, if we write out these scores, we have three scores here and they're all twos. This is the type of score it is and this is how many times it occurs. So we could write it out like that, three twos that we can see so far. Then we've got a, another bunch of uh, threes. So we've got seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all threes if we write it out in order. So far we've got ten scores, some twos and threes. Then um, this item here in the uh, two in the frequency column here says the next couple of scores are fours. And then the next uh, six scores are fives, sixes, and we've got two sevens to finish. So if we, by writing it out like that, we can uh, see a bit more clearly perhaps which one's going to be the 13th score. So that five there is actually the 13th score when you put all the scores in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can see that's the 13th score right there when you put them all in order. So that kind of that arrangement sort of helps us spot which one must uh, be the 13th score because we calculated that the 13th score would give us the median. If we wrote all those in order, um, if we put all the threes beside there and the fours and then the fives and crossed off either end, we'd, we'd end up with a five right in the middle there. So I hope you can see from that in a couple of different ways of explaining it um, that the uh, median uh, can be determined from a frequency distribution table and in this case our example uh, set of data indicates that our uh, median is a 5 because that's our 13th score that we were looking for in this arrangement. Okay, so two different ways there, I guess, of thinking about the same idea. The median is 5. So we added a cumulative frequency column, and that helped us uh, figure out which score is going to be our median from our frequency distribution table. Thanks for listening. hope that helps, and uh, all the best with your studies. PeterBlakeMaths.com